When you're talking to a large language model, what exactly is it that you're talking to? Are you talking to something like a glorified autocomplete? Are you talking to something like an internet search engine? Or are you talking to something that's actually thinking? Um, and maybe even thinking like a person? It turns out, rather concerningly, that nobody really knows the answer to those questions. Um, and here at Anthropic, we are very interested in, in finding those answers out. The model doesn't think of itself necessarily as trying to predict the next word. Right, it's, right. it's been shaped by the need to do that, but internally it's developed potentially all sorts of intermediate goals and ab abstractions that help it achieve that kind of meta objective. What do you guys do in your team to try and understand how they work? I think uh, to, to first approximation, like what, what we're trying to do is uh, tell you the model's thought process. So okay. you give the model a sequen sequence of words and it's got to spit something, spit something out. It's got to say a word, it's got to say a string of words in response to your question. Yeah. Uh, and we want to know how it got from A to B. And we think that on the way from A to B, it uses kind of a, a series of steps uh, in which it's thinking about, you know, to, so to speak, uh, concepts, uh, concepts like low level, concepts like individual kind of objects and words uh, and higher level concepts like its goals or you know uh, it, it emotional states or models of like what the user is thinking um, or sentiments um, so it, it's using this kind of uh, series of concepts that are progressing through the kind of computational steps of the model that help it decide on its final answer and what we're trying to do is kind of give you a a flowchart, basically, uh, that tells you, you know, which concepts were being used in which order and which ones kind of led, you know, how did the steps uh, flow into one another. 